Good morning boys and girls. I hope you've had a lovely week in the sunshine. I went to the beach yesterday and played in the sand and had an ice cream as well. It was so much fun. So I hope you've had a good week as well. This morning we are going to be learning about a character in the Bible called David. Can you say David? Do you know anyone called David? Well, this David was very, very special because God helped him to defeat a giant using a stone. This is a very, very good story. And we're gonna learn that God is great. God is the greatest, greater than any scary giant. In fact, he is the greatest in the world. Let's read our story today. David and the very big giant. Goliath was tall. He was taller than all the other Philistines. He was the tallest soldier in their army. Do you know anyone who's really, really tall? Goliath stood and roared at God's people. Pick someone to come and fight me. God's people were scared. Can you do a scared face? They were scareder of Goliath than anyone else. They were the scarediest they had ever been. David was small. He was smaller than his brothers. He was the smallest in his family. Are you the smallest in your family? And look, what are these? Sheep. What do sheep do? What noise do they make? Bah, well done. Very good. But David knew that God was great. God was greater than Goliath. God was the greatest in the whole wide world. David said to the king, I will fight Goliath. The king said, but you are young, younger than anyone else. The youngest person here. How can you fight a giant? But David said, I may be little, littler, littlest, but I know that God is big, bigger, biggest. So the king said, go and may the Lord be with you. David had no armour. He carried no sword. Instead, he took five small pebbles, remember like this one, from the stream to put in his shepherd's sling. With it, he could throw a stone faster than the wind. Wow! When the very big giant saw little David, he laughed. <laughs> David said, you come to me with spear and a sword. I come to you in the name of the Lord. And when this fight is over, everyone will know God is great. God is greater than anyone else. God is the greatest in the whole wide world because you will be dead. The giant snarled and charged. He trusted his armour, his spear and his sword. David moved forward. He trusted the Lord. David took one of the five stones and put it in his sling. He whirled it around his head, fast, 
faster than the wind. The fastest he could whirl it. <gasps> Look, it's going whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then, smack. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look, the stone hit Goliath on the head. <gasps> the giant fell to the ground. He was dead. Deader than a dinosaur. The deadest anyone could be. When the Philistines saw that Goliath was dead, they fled and everyone knew that God is great. God is greater than anyone else. God is the greatest in the whole wide world. Wow, wasn't that a fantastic story? So all the other people were scared of Goliath. Is there something that you are scared of? Yeah, I'm scared of some things too. But David remembered that God was greater than anything we might be scared of. And we need to remember, maybe when we get scared, we can remember that God is great. God is greatest. God is greater than anything in the world. And he is with us. Let's pray. God, I thank you that you are great. And I pray that whenever we get scared, you would help us to remember how great you are. God, I pray that you would help us to not be scared of things because we would know that you are great and that you are with us. Amen. Thank you so much, boys and girls. I hope you have a lovely day and we'll see you soon. Bye.